Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome, Oliver. Thank you. Good um, to be here. So we are uh, here today, actually, in this session. We're going to be talking about the Remote Workforce Challenge and why um, your browser is now the critical security line. Um, mm. So I think a lot has happened, actually, in the last four or five years, culturally, with COVID, and technology sure. has accelerated um, at a great speed. So I guess, how has the increasing hybrid workforce change the way companies need to secure data? Yeah, it's a big question. Um, and I'm sure most people have been in some form uh, affected by this. But the idea of the workforce now being outside of the perimeter, the, the, the working perimeter, if you like, the network perimeter that we used to know and love and secure, now people are residing outside of it and trying to get the same work done, which means that our traditional security models, methods, have now got to adapt. Right. Add together now that when people do sit outside of this perimeter and they are working in this great cloud environment, we are now seeing more complex, um, more uh, uh, smart attacks coming from different regions. So th th this is not like the traditional method that we know and love. And unfortunately, because of that speed of that acceleration of outside the workforce and this new technology, we've got to think about security in a different way. So, so I guess with that, what, what parts of the tech stack do you think are overlooked, um, especially when it comes to security initiatives? Yeah, I think we've got to think about uh, where our traditional stack normally lay, our hardware and software sort of solutions, our sort of on-prem firewalls, our VPNs, things that used to be quite uh, useful um, in, in our uh, workplace have now sort of been moved to one side and we're starting to see things such as the browser now being a critical part of that security layer because let's face it and I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna let people think about this but you probably spend most of your time in a browser in fact a Gartner study shows that around 71% of people in the workforce are spending it entirely in the browser so that's why we need to start thinking about the browser itself as part of that security stack and that, that's probably quite a simple solution as well, I guess. That, that's, that's how we approach this. So the idea would be, rather than overly complicate um, the security solution, way, way, way back, and hopefully they don't mind me talking about this, uh, we were breached back in 2009. You can look it up, Operation Aurora. Um, and we needed to find a solution to that that wasn't out in the, uh, in, in the mainstream security world. Um, and we sort of introduced this zero trust um, uh, uh, concept, which meant we don't trust the user, we don't trust the network, um, and we don't trust the device. If we fast forward that along, what we've done with the browser is seen as though it's the, normally the single most used application on everyone's devices, moving away from worrying about the device, uh, worrying about the user and worrying about the network, we can actually embed all of those security features directly into the browser, combining that with our Zero Trust solution, which is now Chrome Enterprise Premium. Um, and now you have a single point toward it, a single point to manage, um, and that makes your, your risk lower um, and obviously your security stack less complex from that point. Love it. So what, like, I guess if we focus on some of the strategies then that businesses can really implement to stay ahead of potential risks. What would be your message, I guess, to the audience here in terms of what they should be thinking about? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to take my word for it, but we want to simplify this down. We want to make things a little bit easier. Security is only going to become more sophisticated and more complex as, as time goes on. So if we could do anything, uh, or if we could leave you with anything, I would say you want to simplify that solution. That simplifies your risk. Nice. And why, why is simplicity so important? I mean, we all know that. I guess we talk about it in business all the time. Sure. Of like, if you simplify things, it's easy for the workforce, it's easy for customers. But in this particular area, why is it so important and beneficial? 
Well, you've got two sides. You can take it from my side, where we have something that we'd like to impart to the world and show them the simplicity of a solution. But just take an IT admin's general day. This yeah. is where we can uh, reduce the sort of overheads and the costs and the labour and the uh, the time spent around security and bring it all in and give them chance to get back to managing what they do really well. So, yeah, I guess that's. That's where I see it on a day-to-day -day basis. Nice. And what would you say in, I guess, some of your, the learnings of some of your biggest uh, customers that you work with, how are they seeing um, the advantages from focusing, obviously, on using the browser as the, the security platform? Yeah, so apart from the cost side of things, which, mm. is, which is quite obvious, it's actually allowing them to sort of be a little bit more fluid and liberal with the workforce. So where they're able to look and, and use that BYOD solution that they've always wanted to do just simply using the browser. They don't have to invest in lots more devices. They don't have to invest more time or energy into it. By simplifying things down, they're able to actually get a lot more done than they were doing previously. Um, I'll give you one quick example, and it's, it's a published piece, um, we have a large pharmaceutical company that literally turned this on. They didn't do anything in particular, turned it on, um, and it already showed them an exploit that was happening day, uh, day in, day out in their network. So again, just simply by turning this on, they were able to sort of catch a very large exfiltration risk that was happening. Yeah, so. I, guess, I guess for me, I get it, like what stands out is not I, only are you able to then service employees of differing nature, but also contractors, customers, it all kind of plugs in. Yeah. Is that becoming more and more important in, again, in the conversations that you like see are people thinking about it that broadly? Um, yeah, huge. Um, so the BYOD, the extended workforce, the contractors, and, and even their users, if you like, at the end of the day, this is something they haven't traditionally been able to actually solve without a very expensive, complicated problem, having to send a device out for someone to use, having to use a VPN to connect in, which is slow and sluggish and costs, uh, costs a lot of money. So what we've done is we've tapped into the five, four or five billion people already using Chrome. Can we bring that solution to the Chrome users of the world? So therefore, your extended workforce, they don't need to download anything new. They don't need to install anything on their BYOD devices. As long as they're using Chrome to access your corporate network, we can apply these restrictions, these security controls. So it's, it's the finesse, I guess, of the solution. Amazing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Oliver. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.